Well, hi everybody. Good morning. I was alone. I was alone. I took a ride. I didn't know what I would find there. But now I have a new neighbor. Uh, yeah, Pirate Jack. I don't know what his name is. I forgot he told me. Not feeling really comfortable about this. What do you do? You know, this is a great campsite. You're here all by yourself. And here's a bumper bumper. What is it about not using the regular bathroom? There's a regular bathroom. This guy's got to go way out in the woods. I don't know. He might, might be out there smoking some weed. But I don't like somebody sneak around the back of my camper and around the side of my camper. Kind of makes the hair stand up on the back of your neck. Because you don't know what somebody's doing. He had a big bulge in his shirt. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe he could have been armed. When the hair stands up on the back of my neck and I don't feel comfortable. Which isn't too often. It's time to move. And that's what's great about having an eye house on wheels. I just... Roll in my awning, pull up my jack, and hit the road. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. Trying to pack up, and he just keeps coming over towards my door, offering me you know, uh, sausages for my dog. He just, I don't like when someone gets in my space like that at my door. You know, so I'm packing up. I pretty much packed up. I've got to just pull in my power cord. It's a gorgeous day also. Too bad. It's a beautiful day today. Nice and breezy. I really was looking forward to enjoying the day here. But I'm going to have to move to the next spot. Some people playing over at the park. Families over there. Saturday. Here in the park. No, it's not the 4th of July. Yeah, I'm just going to hit the road. I have another spot. I always have plan B. Yeah. Really time to go. And, uh... I don't like to be around somebody smoking weed and then tell me he's not smoking weed when I could smell it. Yeah, this guy is scary. He looks like a pirate. And he has rotted black teeth. In today's world, there are services that will help you. There are services to help you if you want help. So when somebody pulls up to me that is invading my privacy and getting in my face every time I turn around, coming up to me after I've already told them that... No, thank you. It's time to move on. I don't like people sneaking behind my camper when I'm in my camper. I don't want to be someplace that I have to constantly watch my back. I did that in my job for 25 years. And I, this guy gives me the creeps. And the hair is standing up on the back of my neck. And I've been around big, huge. I mean, I could take this guy. He's a wimp. But... I don't want to have to. I don't want to be put in that position. So it's time to get in my house on wheels and roll. Rolling down the river. Adios.
Hasta la vista, baby. Always have a plan B. Always know where you're going to go after you get where you're at. Always be looking for the next place and know where you're going. I already have a park that I'm going to. Uh, it's first for come, first serve, but it's only 25 minutes from here. And that's where we're headed. We are. Because we're not feeling safe here anymore. Thank you to the Park Commission. And it's a little, if you make the wide enough turn, he's waving goodbye. He might very well be a nice person, but he gives me the creeps. So, that being said, I need to go. There's a couple of little divots here in the road, but not bad at all. And the pavilion at the park is getting people in it. It's Saturday, Saturday here in the park. Okay, let's see, Abby, where are we going? The next spot I'm headed to is about 30 minutes away and it is a pay park. It's 10 bucks if you pay for hookup. Here we go. Well, okay, they said in 1.7 miles, I am in Ostego city limit. And um, the speed limit's 35 here through town. It's five to five, five minutes to five. So I'm thinking most likely well, dispatch is there 24 hours, but. I gotta make sure there's a spot for me to park. I really don't want to have to unhitch, but I could stay here three days. But if I don't have to unhitch, I don't want to. But maybe I'll just take my bike. Because I think it's not real close to the police department. Oh, it's supposed to be on my left, so I better stay in my left lane. There's the park. Cute little park. Park rules. Let's see, park hours. Well, supposedly there's hookup here, so I'm gonna try and see where I can camp. I must have to go down here and camp a different way. I'll go look and see if there's a turnaround. stairway that goes up to something up there. Oh, there's that park. Part of the park is up here. Swing sets and a pavilion. So it must be a pretty big park. Oh, maybe the hookups are down here. Let's see. Signs, signs, everywhere signs. This looks like it's going to be a nice little cute little place. Camping fees, here we go. I don't see any, I suppose you could just park there. Let's see what it says. Oh, there's a campsite, it's right over there. There's nobody here, oh my gosh. So it says, $5 for a tent, $10 for an improved site per day, and you have to go to the police department to pay for it. It's at 127 Court Street. So, because there's nobody here, I may just turn around and go to the police department and pay for it. There's, let me check it out.
I don't know what this is, if it's a bathroom. Or just a, it's got an antenna on it though. And the campsites are not real long, but they look plenty long for me. RVs only, all campers must register at the police department. Trash can, oh, these are really cute little spots. This is an adorable park, and it's a, it just a pull around. There's no problem with, um, and then these are the tent campsites over here. I guess I'm going to take it right over to the PD. Go to the police department. Ooh. And there's even a porta potty up here. Plenty of tent camping. So there is a porta potty if you don't want to use your bathroom. I can pull around and pull out without worrying about having to turn around. Heading over to the PD and I'm going to park here in the back lot where there's plenty of room for me to park and leave Danny in the car and go take care of business. Hang on. I'm going to leave Danny here. The police department's right there, that building. That one right there. I look a wreck too, man. Ugh. Okay, so if you um, call the number on freecampsites.net, the number that they give you, and I'll, I'll put it up here. I'll try to remember to put it up here. Uh, if you call the number, the sign of the police station says that they will have an officer dispatch to you. And it's a central dispatch reception, you know, call, um, call taker that's going to answer your call so she is working for more than one department so you have to tell her that you're at Ostego city of Ostego and that what park you're at and that uh, you would like to register to stay at the park okay the officer was real nice and uh, but it's cash only and the police do patrol that's nice to know well we're parked here we are. This is our spot. You can camp for three days. Yep. I'm on number five. Three. All right. Four, five, and six are. And six. Four, five, and six, maybe seven are power sites and water. And then the others are tent sites over there. Over there. And there's two 30 amp hookups in the power box that I have um, hooked up to. So it's for me, it's for five and six, and then um, three and four are on the other hookup over there on that power box. A lot of stuff. It's really a nice place. Oh, there's people over there. It looks like a little gazebo with a hammock in there kind of cute and a barbecue maybe for a group or people that's probably where those cars are from over here yeah and there's a bag over there I gotta get a bag for Danny just in case she poops I don't want to be unbagged unprepared here we go Please be a good neighbor. Well, I really don't want to walk through the grass and get all bit up. So that being said, I'm going to walk over here to the sidewalk. But let's go see what's over here. 
Okay. Whoa, I'm sorry. Did it scare you? I didn't know there was anybody in there. Okay, so it's like a little gazebo, and I think you could hook your own hammock up there. Ah, sorry, I, I wanted to come and check this thing out. Do you mind? Okay, so it's got a handicap ramp. And oh, Danny can't wait to get over there to the people. She's like, people, 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 people. So did you have to bring your own hammock? <gasps> She's gonna knock your water off. Sorry. It's closed. Oh, okay. But this is kind of cool. So do other people do this or this was just your idea? We're not sure. We just came here and we didn't see any trees that were close enough together for the hammock. Stop, yeah. sit down. We thought Sit. it was nice and quiet out here. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought maybe you were camping. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. Okay, it's we've, yeah, we've been we here live... for a couple hours yeah. now. That's cute. Yeah. What a great idea. <laughs> I was going to hammock, but I forgot mine. So. Oh, yeah, you could have put two <laughs> up the there. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I met these two really nice gals, young gals that were up at the uh, gazebo on their hammock, and they happened to be friends with one of the people that work for the city here and that happens to be the same officer that I paid for my space and uh and I needed to come back and pay anyway for the next time I stay so he's gonna let me pay now and I'm gonna get that all paid for so this is Ben but you can't see him really well <laughs> yeah because I'm doing it the other way with no flash you know and the girls and I had to go on a call and it's dark <laughs> but I'm still going for a walk I put Danny in because mosquitoes are biting and she didn't act like she really wanted to walk um, it says 15 miles. they call it a tourist camp so you can camp only three days three days in a year span tourist camp yeah three days which you know I wonder if you could camp three days under my name and then come back and camp three days under like somebody else that's with me is that a way to get around it <laughs> because this is really a nice place it's a it seems like a really quaint little town playground and there's a nice little pavilion. When I first came by earlier, there was a lot of people at the pavilion, like maybe they were having a family picnic or something. And, and they have some um, grills scattered here too. Hey, good morning, it's Sunday. And look at this, I got a, a visitor from high school showed up to say hello to me. One of the guys that I went to school with, we just saw each other at the reunion, stop by. Thanks, we had such a nice visit. It was so cool. Good morning, RV Rebel Watchers and YouTubers. I'm hitting the road and pulling out of the Michigan um, Osego, Otigo, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, city camp um, park. And um, oops, just dropped my sunglasses. I'm going to head over to the laundromat and do some laundry be before I go to my friend Marsha, Mich Michigan Marsha's, um, because I don't want to have to. I don't want her to, you can do your laundry here. I know she's going to say, you can do your laundry here, but I have, like, I want to do all my linens and stuff, and I can get it all done in a short period of time, you know, at the laundromat, because I can load up the big washer and just put my bed, all my bed linen in there. I gave, Danny got a bath last night, so everything needs to be clean. I don't want her to, you know, now that we got all the, her clean. We can clean all the sheets that she stunk up. So she knows we're going somewhere, so she's getting a little stress. And um, 
you know normally I don't use you know I try not to, I don't don't usually use my shower in my camper because it's a closet you know I use it for hanging I use it for hanging clothes but um, there's a lot of times I do a lot of times I do use it so um, they're just so small so they're just so small so I encourage people when they when they're going to go buy an RV especially the men that they should get in the shower and make sure they fit ladies and gentlemen <laughs> you know because even when you're small a small petite person some of the showers don't have enough room to like turn around and then water goes all over the floor and everything because they're like it's like one of those corner showers you know but anyway so we're pulling out pulling out and I hope you'll join me at my next stop Great day and stay tuned for our next video.